so today we will talk about vector space so what is vector space so vector space is actually a set containing some vectors so these vectors satisfy some certain properties so these are the properties that are listed here a m and d so let's uh, see the formal definition a vector space over r okay so r is a set of real number okay is a non empty set v of objects called vectors okay so these are the elements that we call vector okay that are present in the vector space okay so on which two operations are defined and these operations are known as addition and multiplication by scalar okay so on the vectors on the elements of v we define two operations addition and multiplication by scalar in such a way that they satisfy following 10 properties so there are 10 properties a which i have here uh, written here a which denotes these four five properties are uh, related to addition okay so first of all uh, closer of addition okay so closer means what uh, that if u and v are from a set v space v then u plus v should also be on the same set okay same space so this is what uh, if if you need to check the closer you just take any arbitrary element to uh, two arbitrary elements u and v and just check whether uh, u plus v is also in uh, v or not if they are in v then closer property is satisfied okay commutativity so that is the uh, usual i mean that is trivial property that we know itself u plus v will be equal to v plus u associativity for addition that is also we know for all elements u v w they should be associativity uh, they should be associative with respect to addition existence of additive inverse so there should uh, this uh, property means that there should exist an element uh, such that any any arbitrary element of u plus that element that we have denoted here zero vector zero should be equal to uh, that uh, identity element uh, vector u, uh, zero plus vector u and that itself should be equal to u so that is basically like uh, zero in real number so this is what it happens and that should be true for all u belongings to v existence of additive inverse so additive inverse inverse with respect to the operator that we said addition uh, should exist in that particular uh, space so for each element u we should have an element u dash such that u dash plus u is equals to u plus u dash should be equal to identity element so in this case u dash will be equal to negative of u so if we take real number okay as space closer for a scal scalar okay so now there are three properties that are related with multiplication so we have marked them with m so we have divided them so that you can learn these things easily okay because the, uh, these are 10 properties it will be difficult for you to you know grasp each and every property so here multiplication may uh, in multiplication one closer of uh, for a scalar multiplication so it should also be uh, you know uh, closed with scalar multiplication so here r belongs to r belongs to real number and u belongs to v so here r is the field i mean the set over which the our space is defined so here we have defined our vector space over r okay so r is the field here okay so r belongs to field r okay and u belongs to v so there should exist r dot u in v this is what the closer is closer for a scalar multiplication means Okay. second one is multiplicative identity so since we are uh, talking about uh, r as field so
so my duplicative identity will be one itself so there should in general there should exist an element uh, it can be other than one also okay so that any element we take from v uh, should satisfy this property this particular element into u should be equal to u for all u belongings to u so this this can be anything it just depends on the field okay it should be there associativity for multiplication that we know itself r into s into u is equal to r into s into u here r and s belongs to r and u belongs to e so only one vector is there here u and these two elements are scalar r and s okay two other properties are there so these are distributive properties first distribution distributive property r dot u plus v should be equals to r dot u plus r dot v for all r in r and for all u and v belongings to v so this these are the general arbitrary terms okay so for any r it will be true for any u and v it will be true should be true in order to say that v is the vector space second distributive property is like this so r plus s dot u should be equal to r dot u plus s dot u for all r comma s belongs to r and u belong to v so this is all about vector space so these uh, this particular vector space topic is very useful for other uh, for the further study of linear algebra thank you for watching and uh, subscribe for this uh, subscribe this channel inomath for more videos thank you